Hi everyone, I'm Nick Elser, an early engineer and now director of engineering at Instacart. What is Instacart? Well, I'm glad you asked. Instacart was founded three years ago to provide same-day delivery from the local grocery stores you already use and love. And when I say same day, I mean in as fast as 12 minutes. It's pretty impressive. We're an incredibly passionate team, laser-focused on solving the incredibly difficult problems associated with the same-day delivery, the logistics, the catalog. We've dealt with incredible growth, not only in terms of our customer base and our order volume, but also in terms of the size of our catalog and the number of retail partners that we have. We're in 16 major US markets today, including right here in Chicago, so try us out if you're around, and we're expanding to more all the time. Now, you might expect that dealing with all of this growth, we would have to hire infrastructure teams to deal with the increased data and the increased load. Well, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the Instacart story, about how we only managed to make our first infrastructure-specific hire in March of this year, just a couple of months ago. So I'm telling you today a little bit about how Amazon Web Services helped us focus on our core product instead of our infrastructure. So, why Amazon Web Services in the first place? Well, turns out managing a production database is really, really hard. It's incredibly difficult. We use Postgres. Postgres is amazing, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it for any engineer looking for a new data store. But Postgres does not come out of the box configured production ready. This is a hard problem for a small, fledgling startup engineering team to solve. So in November of 2013, when Amazon announced Postgres RDS, we turned right to it and tried it out. Out of the box, it comes configured for streaming replication, backups, resizing, production monitoring, alerting, reporting, security. All of these are really hard problems for a startup to solve. And Amazon provided an API to provide us with this production solution. It was amazing. We have full stack developers. Every single engineer up until that March of 2013 hire was focused on our product. We're experienced with developing against APIs and using application code to solve our problems. Well, that's what Amazon provided us for our production data store. With API calls, we're able to vision production databases, we're able to monitor these databases, we're able to upgrade these databases, and we're able to develop against them. This is incredibly powerful. As we're growing, adding millions of items every single month, terabytes of data, terabytes of data, new partner connections, we're able to scale up our RDS fleet with simple API commands, simple console commands. So instead of adding infrastructure engineers and being distracted from our core product, we just grew our RDS fleet. And we took this to other areas as well, to serve images and assets to our customers. We turned to CloudFront. To cache data, we turned to ElastiCache. For scaling up our increasing size of our machine learning instances, we turned to EC2, of course. And as we grow our team, we encounter additional problems associated with scaling our infrastructure. How do you deploy our logistics code, our machine learning code, our web code to an increasing fleet of machines? Well, turn to code deploy. How do we reliably provision and reliably and robustly scale up? Well, we turn to cloud formation. And for this massive amount of data that we're churning through, that we're adding, how do we handle it for offline processing and business intelligence? Well, we turn to Redshift. All of these are APIs to solve these incredible difficulties difficult problems for infrastructure. And what does this give us? Well, this gave our team focus. And focus is incredibly important for a startup. Focus meant that we can continue to develop our world-class mobile application, web application, our consumer experience, and our shopper experience, delivering an amazing same-day grocery delivery service. By leveraging Amazon to provide APIs to solve the fundamental infrastructure problems that this product is worked on, we're able to deliver an amazing experience to our customers, and it's tremendously helped us grow. So I'd love to thank Amazon, and I'd love to thank you all for giving me a short chance to talk about Instacart. Give us a try. Have a great summit.